It's a, it definitely seems to be something that has happened to a lot of the, a lot of the competitors. You watch this wave, you, you have a certain kind of wave in mind when you go out there in, in your heat, and if you fail to adapt to the, the ever-changing conditions out here at Karamas, you can really find yourself on the back foot, can't you? A wave that really gets Sally on, on a special roll going into the back half of the year. But here we go, Will and Cardosa just going down in that on that first wave there. Oh, just took the lip in the head right there. That's not the way you want to start it off. <laughs> that was tough, but big fella, he's going to push through. Watch it as he, as he comes into it. You know, this wave was not really big, but it offered up a nice little ball. So he kind of redirected. He went back towards the impact zone and swung his board underneath it, which gave him an actual momentum swing coming into the barrel, which built his speed. And so when you do something like that, you actually create um, a, almost a point of difference in tube styles because we've seen a lot of guys drop in and you know 90 percent of the guys in the field wouldn't have done this see how he's turned almost going back the other way and then redirects with the pumps down the line so he put himself deeper on purpose to make it look more dramatic and get more time behind the curtain a lot of guys would just take off and grab the wall kind of stall through it and, and then come you know out of it as they progress down the line but see his direction going almost to the right or to the left and then comes back and goes right and pumps into it. And doing those pumps coming into it really gives you the momentum for point of difference. And it gives you the, the judges the perspective that you're putting yourself in a critical position to actually have to pump through a barrel, which is really hard to do. And not to mention we know we can lean on old Michelle Perez for those turns, huh? I love just the, the fade back on the takeoff. Just that subtle adjustment to ensure he was as deep as possible and getting the maximum amount of points out of that tube. Jesse Mendez causing a big upset in the third round. Disposing of John Florence with a big backhand air reverse. Keeps his board in the water on this wave. And just sticks to that traditional approach. He's been looking sharp throughout the year. and. He's been scoring pretty well too. Keeps surfing well. Eventually, you're going to break through for the result. He's on his way to a pretty good one here in Bali. Yeah, well, I mean, he caused a huge upset, which is already a great feat for himself. That turn right there, the best one of the way. But then the rest of it, I feel like he, he got caught trying to put up too many turns. Like one big turn right there off the end would have been worth more than those two little ones. So set up hack, comes around the corner, really belts this thing. Nice snap. A little, a little off, but then right here, if he would have just gotten another pump in and then slammed it off the end right there, I feel like he could have come away with an even bigger score. Sometimes less is more, Wade. We'll have to negotiate some sort of tricky boil sections if the sets start rolling in, but he's the replay of Michelle's second ride strider. Solid. Well, there's, there's that more traditional style of coming into the tube and grabbing the wall, kind of, you know, holding on to it. Back to the, to the basics there for Michelle. And this turn, nice and clean off the top, but not the intent that I think we, we, William has left in the tank, but you could see kind of just going through the motions there on those few turns off the front. But then the inside, he pushes the tail out over the back. It's amazing how well William can serve a small wave for such a big guy. Let's see what William Cardosa can do with this one. He's currently in second spot. Needs a big number now to get into the lead, an 8.33, but he's just about happy to lock down second position now in this fourth round. That's the, the goal for all the competitors get one of those top two spots. You don't want to end up in third. Jesse Mendez with priority, having a look at this one, a good size wave, one of the biggest sets we've seen all day. He grabs the rail, he'll tuck in and find some cover, and he will find his way out, and now wants to go to work. Some big backhand turns. Gets that last turn wrong, man. That's gonna cost him. It should be better than his first wave, but there was an opportunity there to go pretty high. I've seen a lot of these fumbles off the end. We haven't seen that really great combination come together for too many people, but does really well to get behind the hood. Then he rushes into a turn, comes up short, uh, and then again on the end, he, he doesn't quite negotiate it right. Could he have like, you know, let that speed roll into that closeout section and really hammered it? You know, but that's easy to say here, armchair clinic, but beautiful surfing in the barrel right there from Jesse. The you see that like is great. That little step after the barrel on like every wave and it's like actually really hard to like position yourself to get a clean turn and, it, and the wave kind of bends around and stands up at like a real weird angle like because you, you kind of want to get vertical but he just didn't really get the, the section to do it. I can see exactly what you're saying. He comes out and there's that step that he actually has to negotiate somewhat. He can't cut the fade down yeah. straight away. He almost has to take 
are more down the line approach to get over the step and, and as a result that sec that first turn out of the pit strider wasn't that critical was it yeah it wasn't exactly what you wanted but when you get a barrel like this and you come out all you're thinking about is okay what's next and you can see that little step as he rolled over it the wave stood up really nicely uh but that section was coming for him down the line and it's almost like he could have just went for the big finish right on the one time instead of the two times where he tried to fit more in again he waited a little bit yeah. and just did a little little end section turn he kind of tried to squeeze it in a little bit too quick even maybe that big air reverse looks like he's loading up for something at the moment but opts out of this one he Thought still he did enough to, to get himself into second spot with that second rider, 5.63. So jumped up into second. Will and Cardosa now back in third spot. Welcome back to the show. Ronnie Blakey here with Strider Wozalewski and Wade Carmichael out in the lineup. Will and Cardosa trying to make the jump into a top two spot here in this first heat of round four. Such a perfect opportunity. Here's Williams wave. Quick under the hood. And then it runs off in front of him a little quick. So this was the wave just before Michelle. Take off. He's looking for a 497 right behind him, locked in and flying out of the barrel. Michelle Perez, the Tahitian, loses the back foot trying a big frontside wrap, but that was a solid tube. William comes flying out, and then he would have to have kicked out of that and seen the next one. Perez just drops in, grabs the wall, double pumps. He's so deep on that thing, comes flying out. I love the fact that he had all that speed, he just went for the turn, you know, Wade? Like, that's what I'm talking about right there. Just keep the pedal to the metal. That's the funnest bit when you're going that fast. Just drop it. Oh, how sick was that? Locked that's, in. That's a beautiful looking wave, isn't it? You know, when you, you're in that position and you're that deep in the barrel where you just about disappeared, but you have the, the wide open, like look at how wide open this tube is. He's got enough time in there and the ability to keep moving. You know, when the tubes are big enough, you can move through a barrel like that. He stood on something dodgy. Look at Michelle. He's working this priority inside out, and he's found himself another nugget. Let's see what he does. Dream session for Michelle Perez out here at the moment, getting barrel once again. And he has had a lot of pits already in this. Going after second place now and just trying to solidify his position because Michelle Perez is on another level out there at the yeah, moment. He's tearing the bag. That was sick. Yeah, second place is pretty close right now, isn't it? This is a really great wave. I mean, has a little pinch off the end. This turn right here, though, the drop wallet to turning the shoulders. <laughs> you don't get to see that that much. And a big set standing up for Jesse Mendez. This swell starting to fill in. And Jesse looks to fade back into the bowl to set up these steeper sections. Big section here, lines it up and plants the float. Twelve and a half minutes to go. What a heat for Michelle Perez so far, just building beautifully. His previous wave came through at a nine. Looking to improve on a seven with that last ride. Jesse on this one though, look at this roll in. Beautiful. Could have been maybe a little deeper, but Threaded the needle, comes out, looking for that step you were talking about, Wade, and to finish, but doesn't really complete, does he? Look how rolled he gets after this bit here. He's just kept <laughs> Here's another look at it, Wade. Oh, that looks so much fun. He's just not really timing that, um, the turns after, is he? He's getting really barreled, though. Well, Jesse might have flicked into that mo, and that is a turn, ladies and gentlemen. Not barreled on this wave, but he still might up the ante. That's two powerful turns. The third, solid as well, and he's not done yet. Michelle Perez showing that he can get it done outside of the tube as well. And that was a mean combination from start to finish. A lot of power in that first move. Yes, just has the setup pump, comes off the bottom, wraps into it, turns the shoulder back down into the bowl. Belts the lip right there. Uh, and then cleans up on the inside corner. But that first turn was just ridiculous. Where are the I judges going to go with this? That was just, watch this thing. Talk us through this a bit, Wade. He's feeling it, hey, like all the little like hand gestures, like the, that shoulder you mentioned here. Ah. He's, yeah, he's feeling it right now. He's ripping. To me, that's excellent surfing. I don't think it's going to matter that he didn't get the barrel because he made up so many points on those first two turns. And he was relentless. Yeah, that was the only bobble in the whole wave. This thing could have even gone higher. It's definitely excellent. That was just because it was going so fast, I but think. He had to catch up to himself, yeah. right? What is going on out there? He yeah. had third priority right there. And this other his opponents not even looking at it. 
Well, these two are keeping such a close eye on each other, that forgetting to ride waves. And now Willen identifies one that's worth using his priority on. He doesn't need a massive number. A 6.49 will get him up in the second spot. A clean sequence of turns. It's definitely missing the fireworks that we saw from Michel Berez, but at this point in time, Michel Berez is into the quarterfinals. Using his fins really well, but he's not laying into the rail. And it's something, if you watch it right here, he's off the, you know, gets a, it's a little late to the party there. This face turn, I feel like he could be setting into it a little more. And he's, uh, he's not really getting into the motion. I feel like he, I've, I've seen him do. You kind of get stuck, like, in, in this wave, like, where you just, can't really open up and it like, yeah definitely like he kind of did it then that turn was nice from that angle but like yeah he's kind of just all on his back foot and oh that was all right that was a good turn right i there, think yeah. i know what you you're actually driving at too if you if you don't get that big major turn right at the start jesse's going to use priority on this one and he is in third position now will and cardoso making the jump in oh. a second jesse needs a 5.75 doesn't get it right on this occasion and Willen's going to have an opportunity here to get himself into the quarterfinals. A stronger first turn on this ride. So wants to really make sure of it now. Moving through to the inside. Bangs that oncoming section. Wow. Likes the feel I of it. I love it. <laughs> Jesse had an opportunity. I think took the wrong wave. Maybe jumped the gun right behind him. William had just gotten the score to get the jump on Jesse. And then actually puts the nail in the coffin.